Hello friends, I am Ravi Nayak, Assistant Professor at the MS University of Baroda, India. In this video, I am going to discuss about plant intelligence. Here I am presenting already known facts in a different way. If I ask a general audience this question, which is the largest living organism on the earth? The most common answer we get is giant blue whale. Think again, is it according to me? The redwood tree from California forest is two to three times larger than the giant blue whale. Here I have another question for you, which is the most evolved species? And the most common answer we get is animal or human. Again, I ask, why not plants? So from the above two questions for a while, we can say that plants are ignored as compared to animals because they lack locomotion, they lack vision and other senses, they lack brain. These few questions, let us discuss our today's topic, plant intelligence, by comparing few of the animal behavior with plant. In nature, we know the existence of predator and prey interactions in animal kingdom, and similar interaction seen plant predator that is Venus flytrap. As you can see when the insects sit on the plant it touches the trichomes or hair within which trigger closing of the flap and trapping of the insect. There are many such insectivorous plants which are carnivorous like few animals. We know that Plants cannot speak, but they can communicate in a different language. In nature, plants are exposed to various stress like abiotic stress and biotic stress, which includes pathogen infection, either fungal or bacterial, or an attack by a herbivore. Under all these conditions, plant release stress hormones, salicylic acid, jasmonic acid and ethylene along with green leaf volatile organic compounds which spreads within entire plant and gives systemic response. Interestingly, plants also communicate with these stress signals to the neighboring plants which primes the plant before an attack. More interestingly, plants have evolved techniques to communicate with insect predators through GLVs that is green leaf volatiles to get rid of the herbivore attack. Plants are smart enough to get their work done. Plants use birds, insects and mammals for cross-pollination. Like animals, plants can feel touch. Mimosa is the famous example of uh, touch responses in plants. Almost all plants can sense touch. But the real fact is, they don't show the physical response as like mimosa. Plants show social behavior as animals do. Plants can recognize their kin. Kins are offsprings with common parents. As you see in this picture, these two plants are kin. So they adjust their leaf orientation such that they don't shade each other. On the other hand, in a kin and non-kin interaction, we observe competition as you see in the form of extensive root growth for nutrient absorption. Do plants have brain? Charles Darwin has hypothesized that roots are brains of plants. However, it is still a mystery. There are evidences of memory in plants. When plants are exposed to abiotic stress, they develop an epigenetic memory which is at chromosome level that helps the plant in adaptation against subsequent exposure to abiotic stress. Now let us see what is intelligence. Intelligence is a property that an individual has as it interacts with its environment or environments. This can be understood by plant-plant communication, 
plant insect communication at the time of biotic and abiotic stress as well as kin behavior in plants intelligence depends on how able the agents is to adapt to different objectives or environments here plants do feel touch plants also communicate with different types of beasts birds insects and mammals to get their work done now do you agree plants are smarter there is a belief in scientific community that plants are similarly evolved as animals but they evolved in a different direction animals cannot survive without plants but plants can survive without animal so why to study plant intelligence presently plant neurobiology is a growing research area that is trying to understand plant intelligence dr stefano mancuso is well known scientist in this field we have to get deeply connected with plants to understand them thank you